Good morning. Um, I just want to take a moment and thank Senator Klobuchar for all her efforts. Um, you know, the support of quality broadband for residents and businesses in Minnesota and around the country, it's invaluable to us. So I want to really thank you for that. And it's an honor to be invited to speak here today. The Lackawanna County Broadband Initiative started in 2007, and there were several key players that got this rolling. And um, we ended up with this large grant um, that was announced recently. But the key players included Blandon. Um, and without the help of Bill Coleman, who's here today, um, we wouldn't have been able to head in the direction that we did. Um, some of the other very uh, important key players are here today as well, uh, including Eureka Broadband and uh, Kevin Byer from Farmers Mutual Telephone Company. And then the, in addition to that, um, the buy-in from a, a group of very rural, farm-grown county commissioners to understand the potential of what broadband could do for a very small county. So I want to make sure that we thank all of them as well. For those of you that don't know, um, Lackawanna County is a rural county in west central Minnesota, and our population is under 8,000. Um, when the new census data comes out, um, we're assuming that that's going to be significantly lower. What we anticipate, though, is that in another 10 years, because of what's happened here in the last month, we will see an increase instead of a decrease in our population. As of today, Farmers Mutual Telephone, um, a locally owned rural cooperative, has deployed fiber to the premise technology to every one of their customers. That's about 25% of the residences and businesses in Lackawanna County. And that's a very unique situation. And it's because of this advanced vision um, shown by Farmers Mutual Telephone that we developed this public-private partnership, which is pretty unique. And that is where everything got started to apply for the broadband stimulus dollars to spread fiber to the premise to all the Lackawanna County. On August 4th, um, we were awarded $9,652,956 in a grant loan funding from the USDA RUS program. The impact of this $9.65 million project will be felt for generations in our small county of Lackawanna. At the start of the initiative in 2007, our initial goal our initial dream was to be the first county in Minnesota and one of the first counties in the country to be completely fired to the premise. We didn't know if we could attain that goal, but we weren't going to be willing to settle for whatever the local providers were willing to offer our small rural county. Now that we've been funded, we know that in addition to what Farmers Telephone has already deployed in Lackawanna County, at least an additional 165 businesses 12 community institutions and 1,800 residential homes will have access to fiber optic services. That will be, will be reaching over 5,000 of those residents in Lackawanna County. As we launch this project to become one of the leading technology counties in the state, we're very confident that in the near future we'll see a, an influx of new businesses, a lot of expansion of our existing businesses, new health care initiatives, expansion of educational pilot projects, entrepreneurial ideas we expect to bloom and grow. Telecommuters will become the norm because we offer a great <coughs> location to live and a wonderful quality of life. Telehealth options will improve, as will e-commerce and more. Um, at where we stand today, we have a lot of very, very small rural businesses that have little to no web presence whatsoever. And we can see that increasing over the next few years. These changes will then generate an increase in population. And that increase will increase business for our local retailers. Enrollment at our local schools will increase. Employment opportunities will grow. Membership in local organizations, which are dwindling and, and kind of starting to flounder, we expect them to start to, to blossom and grow as well. Participation in area arts and humanities events will improve, as will appreciation for our many outdoor activities and attractions. 
As this cycle of technology advances, we're confident good things will continue to happen and, and ensure the sustainability and growth of our very small rural county in West Central Minnesota. Similar to the efforts taken by those who worked so hard to get electricity and telephone service to rural parts of the state and the country several generations ago, what we're undertaking in this project will continue to impact our children, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren for far into the foreseeable future. Thank you very much. <laughs>